Today, we're giving rocks faces. Some assembly required. Hello and welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to do part two of our rock decorating series. We don't know how many parts it's going to have yet, but at least two. This, I think, is hilarious. It's just a rock with eyes, and it's super duper simple, but it's kind of high impact if you're walking along past somebody's house and there's a rock looking at you from <laughs> under a hedge or something. I mean, that's kind of cool. So that's the kind of sense of humor I have. So that's what we'll do today. This is a fun way to decorate rocks. You can be as complicated as you want. You can use big rocks or small rocks. We have sort of a selection that we might work with today. And yeah, here are some little guys that we made before. So you can, um, you can paint them or you can work with regular, just plain rock colored rocks. They can be super smooth or a little bit less smooth. They don't have to be perfect for this. He's not very smooth. He's not really very smooth. He doesn't mind. It's cool. So what you will need is some kind of rock if you want to paint it. Cool. You will need, at the very least, black and white paint. <laughs> um, if you want to give them like different colored eyes, you can also get a, you know, a color. Uh, something to put the paint in. Little paintbrushes. And then you can use, for the little lines, you could use paint pens. You could use the, the paint with the tiny brushes. My hands are not that steady, but yours very well could be. I don't know. Uh, but I think that today we're going to use these chalk markers, which we got at Target like ages and ages ago. So something like this is also fine. The paint pens are great, but they smell so bad. <laughs> I don't want to use them. So this is what we will work with. The first thing that you want to do is kind of sketch out what your eyes want to look like. Think a little bit. Do you want it to be happy? Do you want it to be sad, suspicious, watchful? I don't know. So think a little bit about how you want it to look. Maybe make some sketches and we'll show you what our sketches look like in a second. So I think that we've both figured out uh, what we want our rock people, creatures, I don't know, to look like. So I thought that I would just show you in how I make the eyes and you can do them a little bit like this. You can do them your own way, take a little inspiration. I'm sure that they will look fantastic however you do them. So we will just probably do some little sketches on top of our rocks and then we will start painting. So I sketched mine out in pencil. Now the next thing I'll do is I will do the outlines with black chalk marker. If you had a darker rock, you could use a color that's not black, like we have a white or a bunch of colors. <laughs> Doesn't have to be black is what I'm saying. And then I'll do the next part. Start here. There we go. So we've done our outline with the chalk markers and now it's time to paint. Now, you'll probably have to go over some of your outline because I don't know, maybe your hands are steadier than mine and you don't make mistakes, but I'll probably have to go over something. So the first thing that I think that we will paint is the white around the outside. Then we'll go in and paint the, the black pupil, iris, when, eh. the inside of the eye, the eye part. And then we can like let it all dry in between the steps and then see if there's anything we need to cover. And in between, we can, we've got some more rocks, we can make um, some more little friends. If you're using kind of thin white paint, like, we are not on purpose, but because so much white paint is kind of thin. If you're working on a couple guys at the same time, 
then you can let everything dry in between coats. And you don't have to just sit there and tap your fingers. Bonus is that you get a whole bunch of little dudes when you're finished. So, awesome. <laughs> Now, once you're happy with how your white is covering, you can go with your black and do the eyeballs. That's what we're doing now. Now, when you've added your black paint or whatever paint you're going to paint the eyeballs, you can, once it's dry, add little dots of white as little highlights and then you are all set. When you are finished with these, you can just put them outside. They might maybe won't weather all that well. You can put some sort of an outdoor varnish on top, but what I would recommend is testing it first because some pens and, and paint and stuff will smush a little bit, will get a little blurry uh, with certain varnishes. So seal it with something if you want it to last for a long time outside and then you can stick it outside and amuse all the people walking by. So here we are with some finished products. He looks very tired. <laughs> gonna have to give him a comfortable place to sit so that he can just relax. And then I have this guy who I think is funny because he can look at you like that but then he also has kind of a mouth in his face down here so he's reversible <laughs> which I thought was funny. And then this guy I don't know if you can see his uh, his different folds and creases and stuff but I tried to make one of the little creases in him to be his mouth. I worked a little bit with the shape of the rock to change his his eyelids and stuff like that, kind of make it fit. And I made this guy. <sighs> he looks very sad. And I haven't finished this guy yet. But he looks very happy at least. <sighs> he is still drying a little bit. He needed a lot of white for his cheerful, cheerful teeth. So thanks for watching our fun video about how to put faces on rocks. I hope that you guys make all kinds of completely silly rocks and put them outside to spy on the people walking by because <laughs> that's where these guys are going. That's where they'll have the most fun. I am so glad that you came and found this video. I hope that you liked it <laughs> and you can give it a thumbs up if you like, if you're not subscribed already. Now is a great time to do that. You can just click the subscribe button and the notification button while you're there and you will know very first thing when new videos come out, which is Tuesdays and also Saturdays. <sighs> I hope that you make some awesome rocks and I hope that you enjoyed watching us make them at the very least. And we will see you next time. Bye!